Today I'm out at the Utah West Desert next to this salt mine. Um, I have my dad with me. Uh, we came out here to watch the uh, solar eclipse that's happening today, but uh, where we're located here, we're only seeing about 80% of it. Um, we didn't go down south uh, to see the full eclipse. Um, but the reason why I came out here today is there's this um, transcontinental air mail route arrows that are out here in the desert. I know of five of these arrows out here and this is the first one I've visited. This is the arrow. Um, what we, the way it would work is here in the middle you'd have a beacon tower that uh, had a light. I think it was like a power of five million candles uh, light. Um, and the arrow would port, uh, point to the direction you needed to head to. So like this arrow is pointed to Salt Lake City. So an airplane flying overhead uh, would see this arrow. It knew the direction to head to. And I believe these were like something every 10 miles or 5 to 10 miles. But out in the desert in the plains, um, they were longer distance. And this was across the whole country, uh, these arrows at one time. <clears throat> so you would have yeah, your, your, your beacon tower here, that, uh, and then you would have a building uh, probably back there that would power that beacon. The only thing that's left here is some pipe now. You have some old cans. Uh, most of these arrows got tore up during World War II. Um, I think the, the uh, United States was worried, the military was worried, you know, that if enemy planes made it over to uh, the mainland, uh, they would have these arrows as markers telling them where they would need to go. So most of these were taken up all across the country. It does look like there is an, a, a geocache box right here. I'll maybe have to take a look at that here in a minute. 